Hey you guys, so today I know you're expecting a dinner vlog and the secret is that we are on vacation. So um, as this goes up right now, we are enjoying our family time and there will be no dinner vlog this week. This is a recipe though, a recipe vlog in its place. <laughs> and then we are filming while we're camping. So when we come home, we'll have um, a whole week of what we ate while we were on vacation and we'll share that with you guys next week. So today I want to share with you how I make my chicken bone broth. And we just got home from Costco. I just boned a chicken for tonight, um, a rotisserie chicken that we buy hot and cooked. And Costco has really yummy, yummy chicken. So that is my, um, when I've grocery shopped and meal planned, that's kind of my treat is I get to take the night off. Uh, there's my chicken. I've got it all into a bag for dinner tonight or for chicken salad wraps or whatever, something. We'll use it for something. Um, I've got, you're gonna need carrots to do this. This is also in the slow cooker, which is pretty cool. Yes, you're gonna need carrots. You're gonna need celery. You're gonna need an onion. You're gonna need, preferably, a whole head of garlic like that picture, but this is what I've got, so I'm gonna chop up um, four or five of those. And then you're gonna need some fresh thyme, and you're gonna need some fresh parsley. And you're also gonna need some bay leaves and some whole black peppercorns. And so what we're gonna do is I've got my chicken, just my chicken bones in here, cause it's bone broth. This stuff is so good for you guys. It can heal the stomach and aid digestion. It can help fight the infection that causes colds and flus. I'm reading this from my phone. I will link this blog down below um, where I, I got this recipe from. And the Lord knows we need help when fighting colds and flu. Um, let's see, it can help reduce joint pain, it can help uh, repair bones and make them stronger. It is good for skin, nails, hair, and teeth. So that is worth it. Plus it's extremely um, budget friendly because you're not buying that stock in a box, which can be expensive. And since we're aware of everything we eat, um, I try and stay away from those when I can. So yeah, here we go you guys. And granted, I, I, these are probably these two things I always have to buy and the chicken because I rarely have them on hand, but I can, we eat rotisserie chicken so much that I can um, usually get two whole batches of broth out of these. So, and then the rest we normally have on hand. So here we go, let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and just chop. You're supposed to just put your whole onion peel and everything, you slice it in half and like quarter it, but your peels are good for you. It, it helps with the color. Um, and the flavor as well as that's why you're supposed to have a whole garlic because they want your peels you're supposed to have your peels in it when it's cooking and then just yeah so you're not even going to spend a whole lot of time chopping because it's just a rough chop and it all, it all goes in there so i'll show you guys when i have it all chopped up i've got all of my veggies chopped um, my garlic i just left whole I'll put in there my onions and my parsley so all of this is going to go in on top of the chicken in goes the parsley and goes the thyme, <laughs> the thyme. Josh calls it thyme. And goes the garlic. It seems like a lot of work possibly because there's all this goodness going in just to make broth and we'll strain it later. But I tell you what, once you eat, once you've tried this, you will never go back. My bay leaf is going in. It just, it tastes completely different than the box stuff. So then I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of peppercorn on there. You're just going to fill up um, with some filtered water, kind of just to fill everything. It smells so stinking good. Let me add a little bit more. It's so pretty! Yeah, it's about there, where most everything is floating. Then, then you're just going to put the lid on it, guys, on low for, I let it go for 24 hours, so it actually goes overnight. Um, just on low and it makes my house smell really good, really, really yummy, but it will turn like a deep brown. And I will show you guys that step tomorrow and what we do with all of this stuff. I um, almost forgot that I needed to add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. This is important. Don't forget this step because it helps pull. Yes, it does. It helps pull the juice from the bone of the chicken. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and add a tablespoon, put it in there with all my goodness and then um, let it go. Okay guys, so here it is. It's the next day and this is sat in a crock pot for almost 24 hours now. And it turned a really nice, pretty brown color. 
Um, all the veggies aren't as pretty, but it tastes really good. So I'm gonna go ahead. My secret to doing this is I have a bowl that has a pour spout on it because that will come in handy when you pour it into your Ziploc bags to freeze. So um, get the biggest bowl you have that has a pour spout. And then I have just a strainer, nothing really fancy. It's actually on the smaller side. Um, and then I put that on top of the bowl so that on the next step, I'm going to go ahead and pour and you're straining your broth down into your jar. See, and the bones, they just fall apart. And I did let this cool. I wanna let you guys know, I did let this cool for a little bit before I strain it, just so I can handle it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and end up tossing all of that garbage. You've got a nice, beautiful bowl of bone broth. How exciting is that? Now there's a couple things you can do here. You can wait for this to completely cool down and then pour it, I pour it two by two cup portions into my uh, Ziploc bags. Let me grab one out of the freezer and I'll show you. Yes, so here it is all frozen. I just froze it into two, I, I pre-measured so that it, roughly I know um, if I'm making a batch of rice or, you know, I need a couple of these to make a batch of rice. Anyway, and then you can just thaw them out as you need to use them. So you can either do that um, with this bowl or you can put this in your fridge and allow this top part, it's kind of gets a little bit fatty. Not a whole lot of fat honestly is left on this um, when I do this, when I let it cool in the fridge and then you could skim the fat off the top if it bothers you but more than likely it adds to the flavor it's super super healthy for you i'm going to end up just putting this batch right into ziploc bags and freezing it okay so there it is you guys that's how i do my bone broth and um leave a comment down below let me know how you make your broth and I'm, there's a million ways to do it. Some people do it on the stove. Um, with having a busy lifestyle and being a crazy busy mama, the crock pot, you guys know I'm obsessed with my crock pot. That seems to work the best for me. Um, but anyway, I have, I think about 15 of these bags because I, in the freezer, I do this for every chicken that we get or that I bake. And, um, and then I'm ready and it tastes so good. So give it a try. I'm going to link that blog post down below. Um, that I use for my recipe and I hope you guys liked it and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and dinner vlogs will be back next week. See you then. See you. See you. See you. See you tomorrow. See you. What is today? I don't know. I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. And look at my new cookbook. Guys. Eat like a dinosaur. I'm so excited. Recipes and guidebook for gluten free kids. Do any of you have this cookbook? And if you do, what's your favorite recipe? There you go. I'm excited. End of the week vlog. Yay! Let me eat less of this and less of this and more of that. Could we just get rid of that?